Howdy folks, welcome to today's video where we're taking a look at this Symphony wall light. This is a versatile segmented wall light that has Smart Life app control. It's also compatible with Google Home, Amazon Alexa, and is currently priced at £159 in the UK at the time of recording. It mainly consists of 9 light bars and 10 of these disc shaped connectors. For those that are new here, my name's Craig, this is Really Random Reviews, and if you find any part of this video helpful, or if you like it at all, please consider liking and subscribing. Okay then, without further ado, let's get into this. In the box, we get a card with some shape references for inspiration, but you can also create your own shape. It has the QR codes on there also for the Smart Life app. Then we get a quick start guide, which we may or may not need. We also have some plastic cable tidies there. And then a UK power supply. It's the type I prefer, the plug style, with a barrel 12 volt connector on the other end and a fairly long white cable. Next, we have the nine light bars. These are made from plastic, but feel well made. They're slightly concaved with a flush white finish. There's four pins at each end, which lock into the discs. These carry the power and the data, etc. These are all identical, so we won't go through all nine. Next, we have the controller. This also has a long white cable and one of the splicing discs permanently attached. These do have a sticky tab on the back, but I'll discuss that more later. The controller itself has seven buttons on, six in a circular shape with the power button in the middle. They're all nice and flush and have clear icons. There's also a built-in microphone for the music modes and then a 12 volt power port on the sidewall. Finally, we have nine of these splicing connectors. These have six individual connection points and they also have plastic lips on which allow them to click and lock into place. Now, you could just pick a design from the leaflet that I showed you at the beginning of the video or just make your own custom shapes. I'm gonna try a few designs out before I decide on one and fit it to the wall. When it is mounted to the wall, it sits around 1.5 centimeters away, so there shouldn't be any hot spots. When you switch it on for the first time, it should blink with a red light. This means that it's in pairing mode, but before I pair this up, let's take a look at a few shape ideas. I'll leave timestamps in the description if you do want to skip ahead to the app control or find a particular part of the video. Once you've decided on a design, you can stick them up using the double-sided sticky tabs on the back of these splicing discs, but this Velcro tape is a much better option in my opinion. I'm only using three small squares on the whole of this light. This will hold this light up very easy. Okay then, after settling on a shape and fitting it to the wall, now we're going to take a look at the Smart Life application. You just open up your smartphone camera, scan the QR code that's included in the quick start guide, or you can also search for the Smart Life app. I already have this installed, so I'm just going to go ahead and open this. If this is your first time in the application, press the blue plus button in the top right corner to add device. Make sure the device is switched on and in blinking mode. Then you can name it if you want to, you don't have to. Then you want to select it so you can access the features. I'm currently using my own custom theme here called Aston Villa, which just cycles through a purple and a blue. It's the closest colors that I could get to my team. Across the top, we have some basic scene selections. We've got things like life, 
festival, etc. All of these scenes are accessible from this page anyway, you just scroll down to the bottom, they're all there, but if you know what you're looking for, I suppose the tabs at the top might be helpful. There are 44 modes that you can play with here, plus any that you create yourself. Some of the names are fairly similar, they're also similar in effect, but they're still fun to use. Some of them are really good in my opinion. My favourite ones include Iceland Blue, Fireworks at Sea, Firefly Night, and Northern Lights. This light bar is also compatible with Google Home, Amazon Alexa, and can be synced up with your existing smart lights. For example, I've got the Govi Neon Rope Light here on the wall next to this light bar, and I can control them both together simultaneously or individually. We also have some segmented control options here with various color palettes, cards or combinations. There's even a brightness slider and a speed bar. You can also alter the direction and delete the light if you needed to for any reason. Finally, we have a few music modes where you can select rock, jazz, classic, etc. But you can also select the sensitivity. And then if you want to, you can go ahead and set a schedule where you activate a timer where the lights would come on and go off at a certain time. Okay, let's check out the Google Voice commands then, and then I will give you my final thoughts. Okay, turn off all lights. Got it. Turning off four lights. Okay, turn on all lights. Okay, turning four lights on. Sorry, it looks like the Gubby Basic isn't available right now. Okay, change light bars to red. Got it. Changing the light bars to red. Okay, change light bars to green. Sure, changing the light bars to green. Okay, turn off light bars. Got it. Turning off the light bars. Okay, turn on light bars. Although the application is very basic, it is functional, it all works pretty well, the voice commands work fine as well. Now depending on what design you choose, you might have a few of these discs left over at the end. I'm just going to put these away in case I need any for spares, or in case I change the design later on down the line. Overall, I'm very happy with this light kit, and I am going to keep it on the wall where it is for now. Although there are a few caveats, firstly it's price. I think it's slightly overpriced at £160 at the time of recording. I would much prefer to see it in around the £100 mark. Maybe £120 at the absolute max. The other things that I would complain about, or maybe I'd say are more points of interest than complaints, are you do have full control from the manual controller, but you do need to cycle through each of the modes individually. It does remember the last mode that you was on, unless it's been reset or unplugged for long periods of time. Secondly, the double-sided tape on the back of the discs is single-use only, so if you make a mistake or want to change your design down the line, you would need to use some new tabs on this. This is why I recommend using the Velcro sticky tabs. These are absolutely brilliant. They can hold up to 1.5 kilo, and they're also really inexpensive at around two to three pounds for a pack. Other than the price of this thing, I can't really find any faults with it. I'm gonna give it four out of five stars, and I can recommend it. Hopefully the price comes down as well, so you guys might even be able to get yourselves a bargain with this in the future. I'm not linked to or sponsored by the company in any way. This is just my personal experience. If you found any part of this video helpful at all, or if you enjoyed it, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. It really helps us grow. Thanks to each and every one of you for being here today. I really appreciate that. And until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. My name's Craig. This is Really Random Reviews, and I'll see you in my next video.